everyone. We want to share with you some very, very, just a few basic, simple triangle setups, right? Now, essentially the triangle is nothing more than a position with the arm in and arm out. One arm in, one arm out. There's a lot of things you can do in the triangle. There's wrist locks, shoulder locks. You can finish the actual choke, but besides the actual choke itself, think of the triangle in terms of what else is available once you get that position. It's a very, very dominant position from the bottom, and it's a, and it's a, it's a position that everybody wants to have in their arsenal. So I'm going to show you some very, very simple, basic setups from the guard to get to that position. Okay. So the first one we're going to do, I'm going to start with my hand nice and deep here like this. I'm going to put the hand right here on the, the, uh, on the, on the sleeve right above his elbow. I want to make sure I get that nice, that nice grip on the seam. I take away the slack here. So if he tries to shrink his elbow, it kind of catches right in the palm of my hand. So you should grab that, that, that seam and make sure that you can catch that elbow. Now the first one we're going to do is I'm going to bring my shin right over top, push it down, and I'm going to stretch. As I stretch, I'm pulling both sides here. I'm going to pull here, I'm going to pull here on the collar, and I'm going to turn his shoulders so he can't sneak that arm back in. If I get lazy and I do this, he's going to block it. So when I push that arm down, I want to stretch. I'm not putting my foot in the hip on this one. I'm just going to extend and use my calf against his hip here, turning his body and then whipping here for that first setup. Now, the next one we're going to do, we're going to go with the same grip, but when he goes to le reach his hand back to, to open the guard, very quickly I'm going to, I'm going to catch it. I, I retract my leg and I'm going to block that bicep. I push it out. I'm also lifting my hip up at the same time to block him from, keep, from shrinking this elbow. Okay, so I don't want my knee wide, I want my hip up, and then shoot here for the triangle. So when I see him reach back, I time it, boom, boom. Okay, now the next one is very simple from a very relaxed position. Sometimes people really don't like you having the hand on the collar. So they'll fight the hand on the collar. So we're okay, all right, we'll just play this way, and I'll kind of just have my hand here. Not grabbing, not setting off any alarms, but if I hold one arm, he's typically gonna try to open the guard on the other side. Where a lot of people will make the mistake is you can see Tyler sort of anchoring his hand here. This is correct, but a lot of times people will reach back, and as they're reaching back, they'll kind of let this, uh, they'll try to bury the elbow on the inside like this. Anytime I see the elbow inside like this, and he's trying to bury his elbow in there, but he's not connecting to my leg, this is a good thing. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, slap it, and jump for the triangle. Okay, so I'm here, he reaches, I see this, Right away, I'm going to slap it down, jump my legs up, and catch the triangle position here. So one more time, he reaches it, boom, okay? So all three simple, very easy to, to catch. Once you get to the triangle position, one arm in, one arm out, there's all sorts of things you can do. Of course, most of the time you're going to chase the choke, and there's a lot of details on how to do that. We're, not, we're going to do that into an We'll wrap that into another video, but uh, give those a try, drill them, let us know what you think, and uh, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll see you soon.